Hey everybody, welcome to Tribe Time. Today we are in Luke chapter 6, verses 12 through 16. So if you would, take out your Bibles and let's read. Verse 12. One of those days, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called the disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he also designated apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. So, in the verses before this, um, the priests are questioning Jesus and um, kind of testing him. And then Jesus goes up on the mountainside to pray, and when he comes down is when he names his um, 12 apostles. So, a few things that I feel like we should take away from this verse um, is that anytime we make a decision or have to make any kind of action, we should take it to God, pray about it, and um, ask for his guidance and what we feel like we should do in that situation. And the other thing is that um, it's interesting that Jesus knew that Judas was going to betray him even when he chose him. And I kind of feel like that's the same with God and us. Um, we are sinners and we are going to portray God and yet he still chooses us and wants us. Um, so he doesn't love us based on our performance. He knows that we will sin. And um, in the same way, when we are in Christ and love those around us, we should not love others for what they can do for us, but what we should be showing the love of Christ. Um, so I would like to flip over real quick um, to verse 35. And it says, But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be the children of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Um, so it's what Jesus is commanding, that we should love our enemies and love others. So today, um, as you go throughout your quiet time and your day, think about who it's hardest for you to love. Um, what would it look like to love them in the way God loves you, not out of expecting something back? Um, and just kind of think about that and um, evaluate those relationships in your life. So I hope everybody has a great day and um, look forward to seeing y'all again soon. Okay, love you. Bye.